Hello and welcome to Modules on Teaching Methodologies for Nursing Education. Our topic for this session is on Bedside Clinic. Let's join lecturer and principal T. Swaraj Jawani for today's session. In the nursing rounds module, we have seen the time taken for the rounds is 20 minutes and there are many number of patients we cover during that time. But Besides that, we have a bedside clinic where we concentrate on one client for 45 minutes. So now, let us discuss about the bedside clinics. The main objectives of the bedside clinic are defining and state the meaning of the bedside clinic, explain the purposes of the bedside clinic, and discuss the method of conducting bedside clinic, enumerate the advantages as well as the disadvantages of bedside clinic. Now, let us see what is the bedside clinic. It is to study the phenomena of disease without books and is to sail an uncharted sea. Whilst to study books without patients is not to go to sea at all. Now, the bedside clinic is a specialized form of small group teaching that takes place in the presence of the patients. It is also known as bedside teaching. What is the definition of bedside clinic? Bedside clinic is an organized instruction in the presence of the client. And also, bedside clinic is a rich visual, auditory, tactile and olfactory experience. And bedside clinic is a process in which a clinical teacher and a group of learners see a patient, elicits or verifies physical signs, discusses the provisional diagnosis, diagnostic or therapeutic actions in the clinical setting. And what are the purposes of the bedside clinic? The main purposes of the bedside clinic are to provide a learning experience, to identify the problems of the patients, to improve quality of care, to plan nursing care according to the priority needs of each patient, to increase the ability to solve nursing problems by detailed study and analysis, to study the uniqueness of each individual client which can give deeper insight into their problems and to increase the ability to make an organized and systematic observation of the patient, to provide an opportunity to suggest ways and means to the patient by which he can help himself, to give health education and to motivate the patient for health promoting lifestyle to observe the trainees, interaction with the patient can help the teachers to evaluate trainees' clinical skills, bedside manner, communication skills, professionalism, attitude and knowledge. These are some of the main purposes of the bedside clinic. Then the method of conducting the bedside clinic. The first one is preparation. The next one is how we conduct and third one is what is the feedback. In the preparation, select a patient whose condition and the problems are to be discussed. Explain and take oral written consent from the patient or relatives. Inform students about the details of patient and date and time of bedside clinic. Explain the purposes of bedside clinic and specific observations to be made to students before visiting the patients. And limit the size of the group of the students, that is 8 to 10 students. And plan the session for about 
30 minutes. This is the preparation how you do and especially here we have to take the consent of the patient and explain to the relatives so that we will have a good feedback. Then the next one is how to conduct the bedside clinic. Conduct the clinic near the bedside of the patient. Take permission of a patient and introduce the patient to the group so that the patient will feel at ease. Establish rapport with the patient. Discuss briefly the medical history and therapies. Explain the total nursing care, reactions and response to care and progress of the patient. The next thing to remember is involve the students to interact with the patient, acknowledge the patient for cooperation, summarize the bedside clinic and emphasize on important points and leave the patient and family with the plan of care. And what is the feedback of the bedside clinic? Ask questions from the students and take students feedback and clarify their doubts. So as every class has advantages and disadvantages, now let us see the advantages of the bedside clinic. It builds close links between theory and practice. Along with teaching, it puts learner in an active and actual or real situation. It is an organized method of effective group teaching and it develops qualities of observation and decision making. It provides opportunity to teach learner how to interact, develop a rapport, empathy and gain self-confidence. The learners can be given intensive focused opportunities. The only method in which learners have chance to observe patient care skills directly and give immediate feedback. Care is humanized and personalized. Patients might appreciate the attention and even feel happy that how nurses and doctors are communicating and interacting with them. The disadvantages of bedside clinic. It cannot be conveniently used for large group. It might cause embarrassment to the patient and he might object the bedside teaching. There can be issues related to privacy and confidentiality. It is time consuming, requires careful planning. Only small group can be involved at a time. Criteria of a physical setting for teaching are not met always. And now I would like to conclude that bedside clinic is an important aspect of clinical nursing education. Teaching in the presence of patients provides unique and valuable opportunities to integrate the knowledge and skills of medicine and nursing for the direct benefit of the patient. We have come to the end of the session. I hope you have understood what is bedside clinic and you are able to differentiate between the bedside clinic as well as the ward rounds. And here the main thing to remember is you have to always take patient into consideration and you have to always maintain his confidentiality and please this has to be informed to the relations ahead of time and prepare the students to interact with the patient as well as with the relatives. Hope you have understood and hope you will maintain it in your daily routine bedside clinics as what has been discussed and try to keep this important points in your mind. Thank you for joining us for the session. We hope the module was informative and beneficial to you for nursing education. Please do join us for the next module on teaching methodologies. Thank you once again.